for my first restaurant visit. I don't feel like nervous about it. Good morning guys. It is officially the weekend. It's Saturday morning this morning. I'm just doing a bit of tidying in the bathroom with Duke who's following me around all morning. This morning I took him, I woke up quite early and I took him for a walk for an hour and a half because he's been so hyper and been acting really weird and he's still like not asleep. Normally if I take him for an hour and a half, he's like gone for the rest of the day. And he's still, oh maybe he's going to his little corner to sleep. Hmm. Maybe if I leave him, he will. Anyway, I had quite a productive Friday night <laughs> and I ended up coming home and washing my brushes. So I have loads of nice clean brushes here, which is amazing. So I can do my makeup like really nicely today and feel really fresh on my face. And this weekend's probably the first like normal weekend I've had gonna have in a while. I'm actually going to a restaurant today for the first time ever. I'm going to, let me take these brushes actually while I talk to you. I'm going to um, White City um, House today, which is part of Soho House Group. And normally you could just walk in, but you actually need to book your time slots now. So we've booked. Um, and we're gonna go have lunch. It's gonna be a nice sunny day, sit outside maybe. Um, and it's gonna feel, I don't actually know how it's gonna feel. I don't, I don't feel like nervous about it. I'm quite curious to see what it's like. The restaurants and stuff have been open for about a week now. My friends who have gone have said like, only the staff really wear masks and stuff. And obviously because everyone else is eating, they're not wearing a mask. <laughs> anyway, I'm excited to see what it's gonna be like. I think it will be quite fun and feel quite, I don't know, a little bit more normal to be able to go and sit in a restaurant and then um tonight i have a picnic in the park tomorrow is going to be really sunny as well on sunday so i actually do need to kind of get myself ready for the weekend last night i did a face mask like it's quite big to like know that you're going out again on the weekend so yeah i did a face mask and i did i did a sheet mask first i did i did a multi-mask actually first i did my lumine Oh, let me get this out from my little skincare stash, will you? First I did this one. This is the purifying mask from Luminate. And then I put on a sheet mask and I put on a little, where is it? I have a spare one. Yeah, the Garnier. Oh, love it. Moisture Bomb face mask, which is great. So my skin is looking very nice and glowy today I think this morning I want a bit of a I want a bit of I mean it's looking quite fair I do need to self tan but we'll get to that in a second oh I'm attached to my pajamas there we go <laughs> I know I wear these pajamas every day you're probably dead sick of me talking about them but I can't get enough of them I wear them every single day I know people are gonna ask they're so so silky and soft and I just pop them on they're perfect for around the house and sleeping and even though I went to walk to you can I came back as I just want to be in something light by the way success success we have a sleepy balmy we have a sleepy balmy I don't know if you'll be able to tell this actually I say that and it's the most obvious thing ever now that I turn on the camera but if you can tell, my upper body is self-tanned and I look very bronzed and ready for the heat and to show my skin and my lower body is a totally different colour. Can you see that now? That's so obvious, isn't it? This is actually my natural skin colour. I am so, so, so fair and I think because I have really dark features like dark eyebrows, dark eyes, dark eyelashes, I have my dad's super fair skin. Personally, I just feel much more confident and much more myself when I'm self-tanned. Um, I feel like it suits me better as well. It suits my skin tone better. I feel like I look better with more of an olivey golden glow like I have on my upper body now. I mean, this is the most obvious before and after ever isn't it my upper body versus my lower body so i'm gonna self tan my legs today um so that i can get them out this weekend and um make them match <laughs> that's very lazy isn't it and also i haven't self tanned my face so i need to do that this morning as well all right i just got my self tan serum to put on my face this is the one i use all the time really it's the saint tropez purity vitamins self tan it has a really light clear texture this is the tan i've used pretty much since it came out religiously exclusively so i'm really excited to be partnering with santa pray on this video because 
I love their products so much. It works into the skin really easily. I mean, you barely feel it on your skin. It's such a light texture. It has a kind of light tropical scent, not that sort of typical self-tan scent. And it leaves a glow that kind of gradually develops, but it is still really hydrating on the skin and has those skincare benefits that I would want from a serum. I have really sensitive skin. My pores get blocked really easily, and this has a non-pore blocking formula, and it's great for sensitive skin. And I just use my normal moisturizer over the top of that. Right now I'm using my by Terry Balm de Rose. Um, and I literally apply that right over the top. You don't need to wait for it to sink in or anything because it sinks in so far. So I just do my normal skincare routine over the top and then that kind of lightly, gradually develops and gives me a nice golden glow on my face. I find the reason why I love using a serum is because, because I'm washing my face and I'm doing face masks and stuff all the time, my self tan on my face fades much faster than any, anything else. So I like doing something gradual and more every day. All right, now let's make my legs match the rest of me. And this product is literally like sunshine in a bottle. This is the Saint Tropez Purity Vitamins Bronzing Water Mist and it is so gorgeous. Don't be put off by how it's clear. I will show you how I use it to get a really natural, streak-free tan. One of the main differences between this product and other products on the market is that it contains vitamin C and D boosters. So your skin kind of mimics the effect as it would be sitting in the sun but without the damaging effects from actually sitting in the sun. My tan on my upper body actually looks really nice I think. I think it's so golden, really glowy. I just need to make my legs <laughs> match my arms. Operation self-tan. Got my mitt. That's very crucial. <laughs> and what I like to do is I like to use the Prep and Maintain cream. You can use any body cream if you don't have this. I just love this product. It's lasted me ages. And I put it on my knees and around my ankles. Basically anywhere that gets a bit kind of funky where tan tends to separate or join up and clog. It has hyaluronic acid in the formula, so it's really hydrating on the skin. I think it lasts up to 72 hours of hydration. So that's great because previously with self tans, before I tried Saint Tropez, I genuinely found them quite drying on my skin and I have quite sensitive skin. It has 95% natural ingredients which is great, and a really buildable formula. So you can see how fair I am compared to my upper body. So I really like to build the formula to get a more tailored glow. If you like the bronzing water gel, which I personally love, this is great to go alongside it. And I really work it in around my legs. Like this is a, an arm workout. I like to blend it all in, you know? And then as a last step, what I do with my hands is I take this spray and I spray it quite a bit away and just mist my hand like that. Light mist. And then I do the same on my feet as well. I am going to get dressed and do my makeup now for the day. What I love about this is how quickly it dries. Like, look, I can do this with my legs already and the tan has already set so nothing will happen and it won't go on my hands now. I mean, I can literally get dressed right now and go outside. It's incredible. I might wear one of my favorite jumpsuits. I mean, maybe this cream one. That's the other thing, by the way. The tan does not transfer onto your clothes. I did a test in a white dress a while ago and it does not transfer. But I think while my tan develops, I'm gonna wear a jumpsuit. So maybe I'll wear the cream one or maybe my favorite blue one. I'm going to do my makeup and then we'll decide. I will leave the links to the serum and the mist down below. You can check them out. There is free delivery, I think, on the website over £25. So I'll leave the links. Go check them out down below and let me know what you think if you try them. Honestly, I smell so, so good now. It's like having a really incredible perfume on you. Okay, I'm going to do my makeup. Do a little Armani Neo Nude. All right, going with this little guy today, my fave. I think I'm gonna pick up from the little white stripes in here and go with the Lady Delight bag and these guys, which I haven't worn for a while. And I was gonna sell them, but then I thought, let me give them one more summer and see if I wear them more. Outfit of the day. Got my favorite H&M 
jumpsuit on. Well, oh, I, I'm going to live in this this summer. I already am living in it. But I'm just going to live in it more. I know I'm going to wear it all the time. I'll link it down below. They are really affordable and they feel amazing. They're so light. And they almost look like a dress sometimes when you stand like this. They're just so fab. So, so easy to wear. Do your bag and my Malone Soulier shoes. Got my tan developing under there. And I think I am all ready to go for my first restaurant visit. Bye, monkey moo. Bye, monkey moo. Be good with your sweet tail. Be good, monkey moo. Before I go, let me pick a necklace. I might literally do this one at the front. This beautiful sorrow necklace with the pearl heart. It's so pretty. Birthday. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I like it. I guess my mouth's open really wide. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. They really covered the whole thing. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I can do some normal things. I'm just kidding. I'm really scared to do anything from only normal. You're just pushing it with no loads of windows. They do every other table, so it's socially distant. Yeah. It's like, I've already had these so it's very open. It's quite a vibe, actually. Oh, yeah, you got it my nails. I got it. Did you do? I did them the other day. Yeah, you did it. They were really bright colours. You did it that other way around. How much better your nails are than my nails? This is honestly lockdown nails right now. You'd be very good at, like, fast scratching. Here we go, yes! Now my body looks like one again. Happy Sunday morning, <laughs> by the way, everyone. I woke up and I was like, oh, I'm so excited because it is so hot today. I'm literally sweating already. And now I can wear a little mini dress because my legs are tanned. Ignore the bruise. That was from my clumsiness, not from my self-tan errors. I've spent a really long time actually getting my hands and feet right on self-tan. It's honestly taken me years and I finally, finally got there. <laughs> so now my legs look really bronzed and glowing, ready for my little mini dress. Good morning. Well, it's actually 4.30. I'm just so used to saying good morning that I start everything off saying good morning. How bronzed is my face looking right now? Oh, it's honestly all down to my Sandra Pay serum. It looks so good especially under makeup it just shines through making me look all natural you know anyway i've had and made is our order it's honestly nothing very interesting but i thought i would show you anyway because it's the basic stuff that isn't interesting but is interesting do you know what i'm saying so can you hear that plane Here we go. Now there is a top from Zara that I wear all the time. It's in here. This one. This body I wear all the time. It's one of my favourites. I got it in the winter and it's just the way it fits and hugs you is so incredible. And I've been waiting for them to come back into stock. There is a blue but it's still out of stock. Anyway, I wanted to get the nude. So I got the nude. I didn't get white because I thought I have a lot of white tops, um, but I got the nude. Let's see how this works. And I thought I'll try it on when I'm tanned because when I'm not tanned, I feel like it might just fade into my actual skin color. <laughs> um, and then I got another body, but a white strappy one. So this one's like a little bit different, I think. And this one has more of a higher neck. I like how tight these are because they really hug your boobs. I'm a C. And I don't find I need to wear a bra with them, which is quite interesting. And then I got black as well. So I thought what I could do is wear them with, well, anything really. But I wanted to wear them with my me and M track suits. And then I thought even when it's kind of that awkward time in the day when it's a bit hot in the day and a bit cooler at night, I can chuck a cardigan over them as well and they'll still look really good. So I'm going to try on my fave track suits. These are incredible. Um, I'll link them down below because, oh, they literally, if you want to transition into going out but you have got too attached in your loungewear from lockdown, get these because they look so classy, but it's basically pyjamas. 
just a win-win. So let me try these on and I'll show you. So this is what the body looks like on. They're just really tight fitted. I mean, I am wearing a bra right now because I was just wearing one with my top, but I will slip this off. Is this a bit too seductive to be doing on camera? Woo! See what I did there? If you haven't done that before, it's honestly, I learned it from friends. <laughs> Um, Rachel does it in Friends and I've done it ever since. <laughs> just the easiest way to take off your bra. Anyway, you can see it is quite a supportive top just because it is quite tight. Let me show you in the mirror. This is what it looks like tucked in. And what I like is when it's tucked in, it just looks really, really fitted. I love how this looks actually. And these tracksuits are just life. I think I'm gonna just try everything on with these tracksuits. Honestly, you need these in your life. Let me put on maybe the white or the black and let's see what that looks like. Zara just get these bodies right. They just get them right. It's very sexy, isn't it? I mean, my tan looks great. I think this is another little win. I just love how it hugs you. The material's doubled around your boobs, just up to here. So that's great, especially for the nips, if you get cold nips. I mean, it does go through your who. Do you know what I mean? Like it's a proper body, but it's great. I mean, they're great. I am all for these winners. Let me remove said tag here. I think I might just wear this right now. Because I am lazy and I don't like to change. Ah, there we go. I got a new bag this week that you might have seen on my Instagram already. My Instagram is at Liliana if you want to go follow me. And I was thinking, Tonight we're going to the River Cafe for dinner and it's the first dinner since, oh gosh, I'm trying to think when. I think like end of Feb, beginning of March maybe. So it's my parents, my cousin, my sister. Um, Mama Rachel was gonna come, but they don't let you eat in restaurants in more than six of us. Um, so my parents are going for dinner with her on Wednesday, I think. Anyway, I got a new bag and I was toying up if I should wear it tonight and I think I might plan my outfit from now. I mean, it's quarter to five and I'm not going till like eight, but I'm so excited that I'm gonna plan my outfit and we can plan it together and touch up my makeup and just get ready to actually leave the house. I'm so excited. Right, so let me show you this. It was a bit of a surprise, this bag. Um, it was a gift and when I show you the box, you'll know who it's from. I was so chuffed to receive this. It's not even in here anymore. I'm just showing you the box because I just said I would show you the box, but it's not even in here anymore. And I was so, so chuffed to receive this bag because I've worked with Dior for such a long time. And to be on their list of girls is really, really so thrilling. And that's such a career highlight for me. So this is their brand new Bobby bag. And I remember seeing the images of this when it was gonna come out in March and then I think they postponed it. Um, and just falling in love with the bag. I mean, I haven't even taken the tags off yet. Um, you can see the tag is still on, so this is the new Bobby bag. It's so pretty. I love the print. I mean, it comes in white, tan, and black, and print, and this is the small size, I believe. There's a smaller size than this, but I don't know if they're bringing it to the UK, but I did shoot that bag when I shot for Dior for the launch of Bobby. That's also on my Instagram. Anyway, I think I might wear this tonight. However, I still haven't worn my birthday bag because obviously we haven't left the house and I got a gorgeous bag for my family for my birthday. So maybe I will decide on outfits and then decide what bag to wear. I think I might wear um, something long. I just feel like really dressing up and really dressing up is like something long and heels, you know? Like I really want to go all out tonight. So I might wear this dress. This is basically a rack of my favorite things. I'll link what's on my rack, everything that's on here down below. Um, but yeah, I have this dress, which is from other stories. And that's kind of like, it's not too dressy. Like if I wore it with heels and stuff, it'd still be really nice. So I could wear that. Or I could wear, oh, this Zimmerman dress. It's so beautiful. I might wear this actually. This is so, so, so pretty. I mean, I could wear this. I, I don't think I could wear it with the Dior bag. It doesn't really work for too, too many, but actually, it doesn't look that bad. But the two prints, I'd probably wear the Chanel bag with this. Then I might wear maybe like my little Manolos with it. Oh, that would be so sweet. Or what else is on my rack that I love? 
or I could wear my Amelia dress, this is from Paloma Blue, and I think the gold would work really well with my tan now, I have a fresh tan on. So, I'm going to have to try everything on I think, um, and decide, or maybe I should decide right now, Oh, I can't decide if I should decide now or later. <laughs> I'm so excited to leave the house. I'm in my robe now. I've had a bath. So my foundation doesn't look that fresh anymore. I'm going to do a little bit of concealer on my nose and anywhere that I basically rubbed with the towel from my sweat after I got out of the bath. And then just powder, really. And I'm really gutted because it actually just started pouring with rain. It's been one of those like really weird weeks in London where it's been really hot like it's still so hot and muggy but it's really rainy right now so that might clear up because we're supposed to be sitting outside it looks like it's clearing up and then hopefully we can still sit outside but i'm definitely not going to be wearing any like satin shoes or anything tonight like i planned maybe i'll even have to wear trousers um and then i'm going to powder my face this is honestly the best pressed powder on the market right now the by terry hyaluronic Hydro powder. This is the pressed version. It's so much easier to use than the loose version. I'd only use the loose version if I had like loads of time to get ready because it makes a bit of a mess. But this is great because it just sets and gets rid of like this sweat that I do not want. And then under my eyes, I learned this from Terry. She like puts it under her eyes and it just blurs. I won't put any more concealer under my eyes, but I'll just smooth everything over with this. Okay, there we go. I ain't joking, I changed my shoes eight times, but I went with the first outing of my birthday bag and an old favourite Zimmerman dress. I bought this a couple of years ago and it was a net porte exclusive and it's still one of my favourites and it just makes me feel good and feel special. And it saves room for lots of dinner. <laughs> And my little Manolos, my little kittens. I think I'm the only person. Actually, I know I'm not the only person because you guys tell me I'm not, but I keep my bags in the boxes for months. I feel like if anyone comes at me tonight with anything colored or tomato sauce or a biro, <laughs> they ain't gonna see the bottom of my shoe. They're gonna see my heel in the face. <laughs> Just kidding. They took our temperature. I didn't even realize. I was like standing there. She was like, "Oh, I've already taken your temperature. You can go through." I was like, oh, "Okay." And then you have to like walk around where like no one wants to touch or get to know each other. So everyone's doing their shimmy and they're going around. But it was fine. And now we're just sat down, and we're literally almost right outside. So you get like the river right there, which is why it's called the River Cafe. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so has arrived, pasta, veggies, pizza, aloha mother, mother, oh my gosh, the restory bag, yes. it got fixed, you're wearing it, slangy, I want it back, <laughs> so nice, these are cute, those earrings I recognize from like my childhood, I can see them, yeah, I literally recognize them from like, and we call this a series of empty plates. Course one. This is the giant oven in the River Cafe. Look how big it is. Look at Hannah's nails. They are so cute. Oh my gosh, the yellow. Just got in the car. I'm gonna go home now. It felt weird in the beginning to be in a restaurant and then you kind of forget. But then you'll see a waiter in a mask and you'll like remember again. But I was thinking at dinner, I actually haven't had like a proper meal meal like that in so long because when I'm eating at home or ordering in, you just, I don't know, just make your dinner and eat it. You don't have like a first course and a second course and a dessert. I just kind of like make my meal and then I eat chocolate or cake or <laughs> something afterwards, you know? You don't like sit down and have a meal. It felt really nice. It was actually really social for my parents. They literally said hi to like so many people in the restaurant because um, I feel like everyone's out and about and the restaurant was packed. It was full from when we got there at like 7.30 or whatever to 
now which was when we left was like 9 30 it was full the entire time um and the waitress was saying that they're fully booked every single night so that's great for the restaurant industry i think to have, have people in and out loads now be fully booked i hope that's kind of like across the board um this is my first restaurant visit well proper restaurant visit when i went on saturday it wasn't like to go to restaurants more like chill with food this was like going and dressing up and going out for the night so that felt good and that was fun how was your evening how was your evening was it good was it good duke started doing this thing which isn't very good that when so i'm turning on all the lights here so i can take my makeup that when I left the house now, because obviously I wasn't really leaving the house for that long for quite a while, he started doing really annoying things. So when I came back he, the other day, he'd ripped up all the toilet paper and he only did that once as a puppy. And I walked into the bathroom and I was like, oh my God, what have you done? It's like really weird things. Oh, he went into the bin. He never normally like chews or like scratches through the plastic bins, like the actual bin bags. And he had done that. He knows, I swear to you, he knows I don't know why I am. Um, anyway, he'd done that and that was really weird as well. And there wasn't even anything like meaty or smelly in there for him to eat. It was literally like my chocolate wrapper, luckily no chocolate in there. Like an empty raisin packet, like such boring things that he wouldn't have even smelt to eat. Just all these like, weird habits from me like not leaving the house to leaving the house. So I left him with a little bone <laughs> tonight and you seem to be good and there's no toilet wrapper everywhere there's no bin bags anywhere you are an innocent innocent little dog again so i think it must be weird for them to for us like not leaving them all the time and all of a sudden they're like we're out the house for like hours on end again like i would only ever really leave the house to go shopping little sweet face do you have a little sweet face do you show everyone your sweet face i love you so much it is makeup removal Make oh there were so many people in the restaurant tonight famous people the editor of vogue was in there i was like we are in the right place tonight everyone wants to be outdoors in their vibing situation i'm gonna get going and get into bed i hope you have enjoyed this vlog and that you're keeping well and i will see you next Sunday with another video. <laughs> Night guys!